Hi everyone, my name is James Ivey with Antelope Audio. In this video, I'm going to show you around the control panel that supports the new Antelope Audio Zen Go USB audio interface. I'll show you how to route signals into and out of the interface and give you some tips and tricks to really help you get the most out of your new portable interface. The new Zengo control panel is based on the control panel we developed for use with the discrete range of Antelope audio interfaces. It's divided up into seven main sections. Along the very top of the control panel, we can set the clock source. This would normally be set to internal, but if you're using the SPDIF ports, you can clock Zengo from the SPDIF connected device to avoid any digital clicks or pops. Next to this, we have the sample rate selection from 32 kilohertz all the way up to 192 kilohertz for the most fidelity intense sessions. On the right of this lane, we have the control panel save and recall options. So if you find that you have two or three different configurations that really work for you, you can save and recall every attribute and setting of the control panel here. In the very top right, we have the settings cog where we can adjust the monitor output trim and the panning law. We can engage the two built-in oscillators and we can adjust the brightness of the screen of the Zen Go. Next, we have the inputs. Zen Go has two analog inputs, which can take mic, line, or DI levels. These can be switched here. Don't worry if you hear a slight ticking sound from the Zen Go when making these adjustments. This is just the relays inside the unit changing the input settings. We then have the channel gain pot, 48 volt phantom power. Remember that with Antelope Audio Phantom Protection, you need to press the command key on Mac or the control key on Windows and the phantom power button at the same time to engage phantom power. This is to make sure you never switch on phantom power by accident. There is also a phase invert switch and the ability to link channels for stereo operation. The microphone logo launches the mic emulation path. Zen Go supports the Verge, Edge Solo and Edge Duo Antelope Audio modeling microphones, so you can record and monitor in real time with emulations of some of the finest microphones in history. Next down, we have the Mixer View selection. Switch between the main monitor outputs, the headphone outputs, the digital SPDIF outs, and the DAWIO. On the far right of this lane, we can also show the sends to the built-in or reverb reverb and switch between the eight and 16 channel version of the mixer. Below this, we have the mixer input section. We have 16 possible inputs to choose from, including the built-in mic pre's, the mic emulation paths, eight mono or four stereo DAW playback paths, and the SPDIF digital pair. We can mute channels and patch in the built-in test oscillators to allow us to test our recording paths. Next, we have the AFX section. This is where we can insert our amazing Antelope Audio modeled effects processors into the signal chain either in the microphone recording path or in the DAW return path. We then have the mixer controls, including pan, main level fader, solo, mute, and stereo link controls. To the left of the mixer, we can switch between the monitor and headphone one path or the headphone two path. Finally, along the bottom, we have the monitor and headphone level controls, which switch depending on which path you're viewing, monitor and headphone one or headphone two. Both views feature a lovely big LED style level meter. In this video, I'm gonna keep the routing to its most basic, but keep your eyes peeled for a future video where I dive deeper into the more advanced secrets of the Zen Go control panel. Let's start off with a basic one mic recording session with the AW playback. We're going to use a large diaphragm condenser microphone which requires phantom power and we're going to record it to one channel of Pro Tools. And in this case, we're going to be monitoring directly from the DAW, so we do not want to turn up the first channel on our Zen Go mixer. We are monitoring from the DAW and we will hear the vocal coming back from the headphones on channels 3 and 4 on the Zen Go control panel. In this setup, the DAW buffer size is what determines the latency we hear in the headphones. So to keep this to a minimum, keep your buffer size small. So let me sing a line or two and check the level getting to Pro Tools. She said you're just a temptation and a minor one at that. Let's adjust the gain a little. She said you're just a temptation and a minor one at that. Now, if I hit record and sing a little bit, our recording is committed to Pro Tools, or whichever DAW you're using. Nice, clean, and clear. 
She said, you're just a temptation And a minor one at that I took it for a sign She said she's got what it takes To make or break me at the gates I took it for a sign We can now simply add a second microphone and a second channel in Pro Tools to record two mics at the same time. Great for a singer-songwriter to record acoustic guitar and vocal at the same time. We are still monitoring through our DAW, so once again there's a need to keep the buffer size as small as possible. We've been talking for hours, but we haven't said a word. We both know what you want from me, to me it sounds quite absurd. Was it something I said or something I did? Did my feelings come on too strong? Though I tried not to hurt you But you're making me wait too long This time, I'm going to plug an electric guitar into the first channel and set it to the DI input. Now in the AFX stack, I'm going to create an effects chain using a big rock and roll guitar amp emulation a 4x12 cabinet model and some V12 chorus to put down a rock and roll guitar line. This time I'm going to mute the channels in the DAW and monitor what I'm playing at source using the Zengo control panel mixer to give me a better feel with next to zero latency. I'm also going to add some reverb to the track, however this is for monitoring only and will not be committed to the recording. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to harness the power of Zen Go in your mixes and show you some more complex routing options. But for now, my name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon. Yeah.